welcome to a new video uh so today i'm going to photograph a 12 month old baby during a sitter session uh normally a sitter session is for babies between around seven to nine months old so they just learn how to sit by themselves um they don't really crawl yet they don't walk yet they still want to lie on their tummy usually keeping their heads up they still want to lie on their back usually grabbing their feet um, i mean they can roll over and sit up but they will still stay in one spot pretty much so it's quite an easy age to photograph they're usually very happy smiley they love peekaboo they love little toys um awesome age so in this case Mom wants to book a sitter session for her daughter who was already 10 months old. I mean, yeah, we could still do that. But then the whole world changed because of the coronavirus and studios closed down. Um, we started social distancing, so shoots were canceled and we postponed her shoot until further notice. Um, now today, after seven weeks of social distancing, the school start again this Monday. Um, I'm going to photograph her today. So it's going to be a little bit different. Um, some things are very similar. I mean, I do clean the, the studio before and after sessions. I clean outfits. I clean services, most props. I can clean, I'll clean them. People wear shoe covers, but things change a little bit because now I keep my distance from the baby, uh, which means that the mom will place the baby on the right spot, in the right position, following my directions. I will stay on the other side where I'm photographing. Baby will sit right next to the, mom will sit right next to the baby. They can come with maximum of three people. The other person will sit in the seating area, which is two meters away from me. Parents will change the baby, that doesn't change because they used to do that anyway. But like normally I would help a little bit, like buttoning up the outfits, putting the headband on, tying uh, little bonnets, hats. I won't do that, so I will have headbands ready. Um, also, they are not allowed to touch all the outfits, so they can see the outfits, they're all clean, they can point out which ones they like. I will pull them out of the rack and then a baby can wear them and I'll wash them afterwards, of course. Um, so yeah, shoe covers is the same. I do have like gloves in the at the entrance of the studio so they can wear gloves if they like. I can wear gloves if they want me to wear gloves. There is a toilet here, like a bathroom they can use and I'll clean it, of course, uh, before the session, after the session. Like I don't shake hands at the beginning of the session. I don't hold the door open for them. It feels really weird. Uh, but they come in, I step back, or I'm just already standing in, this, in the studio. I welcome them, not coming close to them. I wash my hands before the sessions, I wash my hands after the session. I have hand sanitizing gel, so I can always clean them in between. Um, you can ask your clients to wash their hands at the beginning when they come in, or use hand sanitizing gel. But it's a little bit weird. I mean, outdoor sessions, yeah, you can keep a meter and a half distance. In the studio, it's just moving around a little bit, like awkwardly but it's possible so yeah today i have a little girl coming in so i'm going to show you a little bit off the session how we're going to do it like not coming close towards each other but keeping our distance i'm going to show you some photos some camera settings um and like at the end i'll talk a little bit about how it went uh but hopefully this is interesting i'm not going to tell you how you should do it because it really differs per country and um yeah I don't think there is a right and really wrong way to do it, but this is just the way how I, how I'm doing it. So this is what I've set up now for the sitter session with the one year old. Uh, so she's actually a little bit older than most sitters, which means that she can probably uh, crawl, maybe even walk. So yeah, I use the bench I usually use for the cakesmith session. And then I'm gonna use some baskets that will keep her hopefully in one spot just long enough for me to snap a few photos. So yeah, all the outfits are clean. The mom's gonna change the baby in the on the changing table. I have a gloves there that they can use. I have some extra cleaning wipes. Uh, the cover is clean. And yeah, I just sanitized uh, most areas. Of course, I vacuumed, mopped.
actually went really well. Uh, we did four different decors. Uh, she changed four times, wore headbands, wore a little bonnet. Uh, she was not smiling a lot because, I mean, she's 12 months old. So, I mean, she's only, she has only seen her direct family for the last seven weeks. She hasn't been to daycare. Uh, she's not really used to seeing strangers a lot at this point. Also 12 months old is kind of the age where they really cling to their parents and the outside world is a little bit scary. But I mean, she came in and I was doing peekaboo from, you know, keeping in my distance. But she still enjoyed it. I had a little toy that she really liked. I was singing songs. Uh, but yeah, normally the parents could maybe like stand straight behind me on my level and just like make silly faces right behind my head. We couldn't do that because of the keeping a meter and a half distance. So yeah, I had to do it all by myself, but it worked pretty well. We did like animal sounds, like the sound of the horse. She was kind of like mimicking me. I mean, with a face mask, that would be so hard. But in this case, I got some smiles. Uh, but just like this big bright eyes, just looking curious into the world. I think those photos are the best and we got tons of those. So that's really cute. Okay, how did it go? I already explained in the email before that I was not going to touch the baby, not pose her. But I don't do that anyway from like four months upwards. So like only newborns, um, I pose, I touch, which is why I'm not photographing newborns at the moment. But yeah, from like four months and older, the baby can be put in a certain spot, on, in a certain position, so either like sitting or on their bellies or lying on their backs. And then uh, parents can place the baby there. Following my directions, I will stay uh, on the other side, keeping my distance and taking the photos. So that worked really well. Mom was changing the baby. Um, I gave some directions as to where to place the headband a little bit. And then like with a bonnet, like to tie it, it's a little bit different than I would usually do it because then I would help them. But uh, it went really well and uh, we kept our distance. I haven't touched the baby. I haven't touched the uh, clients and um, yeah, now I'm just gonna clean everything again. I'm gonna wash the outfits. See, of course I sent them an email the night before. Like if you have any um, health complaints, let me know and then we'll reschedule. So if someone is coughing, sneezing, having a fever, not feeling great, we reschedule, no fees apply. Because of course I don't want to have sick people here. Also for myself, if I don't feel great, I start coughing, sneezing, whatever, I will cancel the session. So, uh, but yeah, besides that, I think things went pretty well. So I think I can slowly start doing sessions again. My school starts, so I have some more time to do sessions. Of course, outdoor sessions are possible where you keep your distance, you can shoot like families. Here, people from one household can come together. And then if you have other people coming to your home, it's a maximum of three people at the moment, which is why I'm also asking people not to come with more than three people, including the baby. And um, yeah, just keeping distance. And of course you can do like cool, like front door sessions or like window sessions where you shoot inside people, their homes. Um, I've seen that happening. Yeah, some photographers let parents shoot photos of their own newborns uh, with some directions or like put them on a white bed sheet, have the light come from the top, not from the bottom, uh, place the baby, for example, like this and this, and then they'll edit the photo for them. So they kind of have like a newborn photo. Uh, we have another press conference tonight where they're going to talk about contact professions. Yeah, let's see what they say and then maybe newborn sessions can start again. Okay, breaking news. Um, last night there was a press conference, the Prime Minister spoke and contact professions are allowed again. So I read a lot of positive messages on Facebook and Instagram of other newborn baby photographers who are super excited to go back to photographing post newborns where you're actually touching the newborn face masks are not obligatory um, only in public transportation but i have my face mask which i can use during a newborn session i have disposable gloves that are very soft um, i can use those during a newborn session as well so yeah these are actually the gloves that i have and i still have to find out which ones i like the most I think it's for safety, I mean posing without gloves, like the newborns, you have a lot of grip, but these ones still feel really good as well, like it doesn't feel like something I'm holding is gonna slip out of my hand, uh, but I think it's just still finding out what works best, but I mean, hand, yeah, using hand sanitizing gel and washing your hands before, after, during session 
will also work like not touching your face and of course if you have any symptoms if your customers clients um, let you know beforehand that they have symptoms cancel the session for sure let only one, one family come at a time have some time in between sessions maybe like an hour or two to clean sanitize everything again um, don't use similar props or similar uh, outfits but wash them um, but yeah this is what I have so yeah, we can uh, actually go back to scheduling post-newborn sessions again. Um, so yeah, people coming from one family, awesome. Um, not showing any symptoms, they can come and yeah, as far as possible, we'll keep our distance, but we can touch again, <laughs> the clients, the customers. So, which is also great during any other session that we can adjust dresses, um, move around the hair, help with posing, um, yeah, just come close again to the customers. The same with cake smash sessions, sitter sessions, of course you can do them while keeping your distance, but I mean, if you wanna help the baby giving them a bite from the cake with a little spoon, it's great. If you wanna help adjust a headband of a baby, or um, it's great that we can touch again. Uh, of course, washing hands before, after, during sessions. Keeping the studio clean, that's just like normal. Uh, keeping props clean, so that's all great. But yeah, last night they did announce that contact professions are allowed again uh, to be in business. So hairdressers, nail salons, um, yeah, just people touching their clients. We can work again, uh, so that's great. So that's just a little side note. Like. I have quite a lot of requests from customers wanting to book a session so they're all happy they can come but of course I cannot all plan their sessions the first week uh, starting Monday so I'm just gonna see how many I can schedule in the first few weeks uh, but I have limited time available because schools don't reopen fully yet so maybe now I can only do five sessions a week but I mean it's a start so that's great I thought I'd show you my face mask so it is a fabric one um, I ordered it from a company which usually makes a lot of like newborn outfits and props. Uh, I have a lovely design, pink with flowers. Um, and I can insert like a filter. So like kitchen towel, paper, I don't know what it's called. Toilet paper, I think you can use different materials to uh, insert your filter. And this face mask I can wash at 60, maybe even 90 degrees Celsius. So. It goes like this and then I'll attach it somehow. I'm not wearing glasses, so that's great because they won't fog up. Fog up, <laughs> sorry. Um, I said it correctly, but just it sounded wrong. It feels so weird. Um, but yeah, when you're photographing sitters and cake smashers, they're not gonna smile at you when you sing songs and play pickable like this. But for a newborn session, session, I think it's great. It's not a medically approved one. They're, you know, for the hospitals. So this is just a design. There's so many tutorials online on how to create your own DIY hand-sewn face mask, but this one I just ordered online. Um, also to support her business. Um, so yeah, it has stretchy um, strings and um, it'll be like this. And um, yeah, so it, it looks really weird and it feels really weird as well. But I mean, I have one, I can wash it, I can insert a filter, so that's great. Yeah, I think there are ways to work again in a studio, but it's challenging, it's a little bit different. And don't say that I'm super wrong because things differ in my country maybe than in your country. Here in the Netherlands, we haven't had a complete lockdown. We were still allowed to go outside, the kids were allowed to play together outside. Uh, tons of shops were still open, like malls were open. So yeah, people who practice a contact profession were not allowed to practice their profession. Uh, for the last six seven weeks, so no touching of clients uh, I'm trying to make the best out of the situation and Yeah, if things are different in your country don't follow whatever I'm doing But make your own wise decisions and contact your government asking what's possible um, Maybe they can give you some directions. That's what we did as photographers here in the Netherlands um, and we are in contact with each other as well just discussing what others are doing because Sometimes rules and regulations can uh, be a little bit vague. Um, yeah, but use your own common sense. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment. And hopefully we can all go back to photographing again and doing what we love and earning an income for our families and providing other families with beautiful images of their beautiful children um, one way or the other. And um, I just hope things will go back to the way they were and that we don't have to live forever in a society where everybody's like socially distancing and we have to keep a meter and a half distance for the rest of our lives. But for now, I can understand why this is, um, well, these are the rules and regulations. So we'll just deal with them and make them work. And thank you for watching. And I love reading your comments. Bye bye.